Okay, uh, so what we want to do is we want to receive payments uh, from a we want to receive payment from from a customer. So to do that, you can just go to account in here and then you click on payment entry. Uh, so I'm assuming you've got that shortcut for payment entry on your desktop. So you click on add payment. So these ones are the payments that are showing. Uh, so to do your new payment, you can just click on add payment there and then uh, we are receiving so it's either we can receive or we can pay so in this case we are receiving uh, so when we are receiving uh, we are receiving from customer when you want to pay we are paying our suppliers and internal transfer when we want to do some transfers between our banks internal in the within the organization so in this case we are receiving from sub, uh, we are receiving from customer and then party type you enter your customer there click customer and then party you enter the name of the customer uh, let's say we want to receive from bruno i end up bruno there is my customer and then account paid to i select the bank account that is receiving the money so in this case it's cbz nostro so i click on cbz nostro is my bank account and then the moment i click on cbz nostro to pop up to, for me to enter the amount so in this case i want to enter 215 dollars uh, so that's the amount that i want to enter i can just click here uh, just click here click your mouse here immediately it will pop up the screen uh, so it's from for me to to get the invoices that i want to do the payments for so in case i've got many invoices so i can click on get invoices and then I select the invoices that I want to get the payments for. So here, let me just select from all invoices from one July. Enter. Right. So invoices from one July, I've got these three invoices. And today I've made a payment of 215. Uh, so under 215, the system automatically breaks down the payments. It allocates the payments here. So it have allocated $15 for the for this invoice and allocated three dollars for the following invoice and then 197 for the balance so in case maybe i don't want to pay these two invoices i can just come here and put the whole 215 here and then there i can put zero and there zero maybe i want to pay this invoice only uh, so after that i can click on save uh, mandatory fields required to enter these ones I close there. I come here, I enter my transaction number. So that's my transaction number. You can enter any number if you don't have any transaction number. Uh, it won't matter that much. You enter a check reference date, you can just enter today's date. It doesn't matter that much. Then you can click on save there. And then, uh, so before you can submit, can just scroll down to verify that all the details that you have entered are correct so here outstanding balance is now 497 i have paid uh, 215 if i'm okay with everything i can just proceed to submit and then here i can click on yes after that i can print if i want to print so i can click there to print so this one is now showing the amount that i've paid uh, and the balance now that is due is 282 etc etc so that's it for receiving payments from customers